I've been updating the procedural damage toolset for the last few weeks. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to use the new bevel parameters to quickly add edge detail to the mesh. So let's do it. So let's click here and add the cube to the level. I'm gonna go to mega scan surfaces and assign this concrete material to the cube so now let's browse to the HDA and drag it in the level after a few seconds Houdini engine session is connected and we can work with it so let's scroll down and under Houdini inputs change this one to world input Click on start selection, select the cube or your mesh and click on use current. Now we should hide the cube. Okay. So the view mode is set to preview and let's enable bevel. Zoom on it. So let's set the size of the bevel to something like 2 is fine or 1.5 and let's add some noise to it I'm gonna set the min bevel size to 0.2 and max bevel size to 2 now we can if I zoom in we can better see the added details and let's set the view mode to wireframe Here's the result. We can also change the noise size and set it to a smaller value like 5. I think it looks better now. So let's go back to lit. Move around the object so we know there's no issues. There's something of an issue here. So let's set the max bevel size to something like 1.8 or let's actually set the view mode to detail okay we have an issue here let's set the mean bevel size to 0.1 and yeah it's fixed sometimes just tweaking these values fixes the issues so next let's go under material and add vertex color I only need the R channel so let's disable G and B okay now to see the vertex color I'm gonna drag this vertex color material on the object so here it is we have the R channel or the red color on the edges Let's bring back the material so how can we use this vertex color to change the material on the edges we have a material function for that so let's see I want to bake the mesh click on bake and the new mesh is added so I don't want the damage tool anymore so let's delete it browse the material and open it now we should browse to the master material or the parent let's duplicate it and add damage to the end of the name open it and here's the damage material function so let's drag it in the material and we only need to add it between these two nodes so let's add it like this save the material 
and now we have oh I didn't change the parent material so let's drag this edited material here and now we have these damage parameters we can use to change the material on the edges so let's close this one change the windows a little bit enable all these parameters I'm gonna use the same textures as the concrete material on the mesh so let's browse them this is the base color normal and I'm gonna use the same one for the detail normal and this one is the ORDP texture now I can add a little bit of tints to it to make it a little bit darker and let's zoom in let's change the detail normal strength to something higher like 2 or 3 let's set it to 0 and 2 we can see how it's being added let's zoom further in here's when I set it to 0 and here's when I set it to 2 ok let's also check it here 0 2 so I think it adds a little bit of detail to the mesh which looks good let's bring back the field of view to 90 and here's the result Yep. maybe it's better to duplicate the material instance as well so let's browse it duplicate it add edited to the end of it and let's assign the edited one to the new mesh open the original material instance and change its master material to the original one yeah so here's the result before and after using the damage tool this tool set is a huge time saver when adding detail to environments grab it from the link in the description and start working with it so that's it click here for more unreal stuff and thank you so much for watching massive shout out to my amazing supporters for making this possible like this video subscribe and join our communities if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below so see you in the next one